Okay, so you're here to learn how to set up Minecraft hotkeys for PvP. This video is for those who are either still using the scroll wheel or don't know what hotkeys they should use. This video will be broken down into sections and timestamps will appear on the screen now. Feel free to skip to the parts you want to see, so let's just get started. First, what are hotkeys? Hotkeys are the keys that you press to change the hotbar slot that your hand selects. So basically, if you have blocks in your 7th slot and want to instantly select your blocks, you would press the 7th hotkey and it would instantly hold the blocks in your hand. Why should you use hotkeys? Hotkeys are important for Minecraft PvP because it gives you the ability to instantly switch the item in your hand. When PvPing, players use many different items while playing. So in order to maximize the efficiency of selecting an item, players use hotkeys. Things to keep in mind when setting up your own hotkeys. First of all, you're going to want hotkeys that you can press that do not first force you to take more than one finger off the W, A, S, and D keys. Movement is very important in Minecraft PvP, so you always want to be ready to press the W, A, S, and D keys. The default hotkeys are 1 through 9. I would recommend not using the keys 7 through 9 since it makes you lift your fingers really far away from the movement keys. Also keep in mind, items that are most useful to you while PvPing. I would say this varies depending on the game modes you play, but in most PvP games, the sword is a pretty important item, therefore should be set to an easily accessible hotkey. This also applies to other important items, not just the sword. Which fingers you should press certain hotkeys with? A common mistake that I see when people set up their hotkeys is that they press the hotkeys with the fingers that are not the most efficient. So I'm going to tell you what fingers you should press what hotkey with. The movement key W, A, S, and D are pressed with the middle finger for W and S, ring finger for A, and pointer finger for D. The hotkeys 1, 2, Q, tab, tilde, and caps lock are pressed with the ring finger. The keys shift and control are pressed with the pinky finger. The pointer finger is used to press E, 3, 4, 5, 6, R, T, F, and G. The thumb, one of the best fingers that should be used for a hotkey, since it doesn't force you to take any fingers off the movement key, is used to press Z, X, C, V, B, N, and spacebar. Sometimes you can press other keys with your thumb, but those are the main ones. How to set up your hotkeys. Click on escape, options, control, and it will take you to this screen. Here are your hotbar slots. So basically, here's my first hotbar slot. Here's my second, third, fourth, and, it, and so on. So let's go back over here. So hotbar slot number one, it just represents what I just showed you. If you click on this spot under inventory and to the left of reset, uh, if you click on it, You'll have these two uh, arrows, and that indicates that whatever button on your keyboard or mouse that you press next, it will turn it to this hotkey. So let's say I press R, that hotkey slot is now R. So if I were to go out and press R, it would go to hotkey slot number one. But if it's red like this, it means you have it in two places. You don't only change your hotkeys here, you could also change your drop item and also uh, other stuff um what i would recommend for sprint is you set it to something random and then you go into bad line or whatever client you're using and do um you look up sprint and then you turn on toggle sprint it's really useful and it's way better for pvp so yeah here's an example of hotkeys you could possibly use like I said before, hotkeys can vary depending on the game mode you play, so you might need to change it depending on what you play. But here's an example for Sky Wars. The things that I'm going to say are in the order of hotkeys 1 through 9, so here it is. V for sword, E for fishing, rod slash projectiles, Q for gapple, C for blocks, R for ender pearls, 1 for potions, 2 for potions, 3 for potions, and F for bow. This is an example of hotkeys that are efficient. This is because the hotkeys are close by to the W, A, S, and D keys and are easily accessible. If you play many game modes, just use the hotkeys that are used to switch to items that do similar things. For example, if you play Sky Wars and Bed Wars, you might want to use the same hotkey for snowballs in Sky Wars and fireballs in Bed Wars. 
This is because they are similar types of items that do similar things. How to practice hotkeying. I would say the best way to get used to hotkeying is to play a game mode that requires you to be constantly switching items. A few of these game modes are Sky Wars and Duels. These are really good because it forces you to use your hotkeys. Also, another good thing that is really, really helpful is to disable your scroll wheel. This literally forces you to use your hotkeys since you can't use your scroll wheel. That is all for this video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. You don't have to, just if you enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.